Hello everyone, welcome to Lightning Wing Productions. I'm Lightning Wing and I still need a haircut. <laughs> Sorry. Today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video, but it's going to be a little different. Instead of something big like a 3DS or controller, it's going to be something I got off of Etsy. Before I bring out the actual item though, let me show you something that I've had since I was a little kid. This little toy visor is one of those spy gear toys made by Wild Planet. It's meant to be like a oh, night vision visor type of thing. And I have kept this thing since I was a kid because whenever I wear this thing, I feel like Samus Aran. Here, let me put it on. Oof, big and clunky. See, I, if I had, like, just red around here, if it was just red around, I'd probably look like Samus Aran. But this toy is, is not as good as it used to be. It's small now, because it's normally meant for a child's head, and the actual visor part doesn't light up so well, because the actual lights on the side pop out. So, it's not really illuminating the, uh visor it that well. But recently I saw someone on Etsy.com, or rather a product that they made that is very similar to this. And I figured I would do a video reviewing it, rating it, and comparing it to this old toy. <laughs> so let me just take this off. Ooh. Now, let's open the package. Actually, let's get some light in here. There we go. I need a better light setup. Normally I would break out the big knife just to show off, but yeah. Let's do a little more precision cutting. That did not sound right. This over there. Ooh, hoo, hoo. These look cool. Come in a Ziploc bag and everything. Oh, they come with a little card thingy. Here, let me see what this is. Oh, it's a little card for the battery installation. Check it out. Hmm. And. The creator of this nice looking vi uh -oh. batteries not included. <clears throat> uh, that is going to be a minor pain. I don't even know if we have these kind of batteries. They're they're little button batteries. <laughs> but <clears throat> I will show this card in a moment. I just need to go and check if we even have button batteries. I will be right back. Okay everyone, sorry for that. I had to wait to actually get some batteries, but I have them here, thankfully. Uh, sorry for the different lighting, and I had to lose my vest because it took a while. It, it got a little warm, so yeah. Different lighting, no vest. Moving on. Let's get these batteries out and see. Oh, uh, this might take a second. It's like a weird, completely plastic thing. I need the. So. Okay. Just a second. Okay, I got the batteries out. Let me just take these stupid child warning thingies off. Fine. One problem with tape, they're always a pain to get off. Okay. Uh, let me just look at the card again to see okay the plus hmm. okay uh, apparently according to this thing it goes like this <laughs> so let's pop these in 
Whoa. That's one. <laughs> and that's two. Now they look bitchin'. And you can see the uh, hexagon design on the side there, which is awesome. Oh, man. Well, time for the moment of truth. Time to put these bad boys on. Everything has like a blue tint to it. Ooh. Welcome to the future. <laughs> oh man. I can guarantee these would... Here, let me look under my desk to see how it actually... Hmm. Oh yeah, it would probably difficult be difficult to look through during nighttime, but definitely worth it. Oh man. Let me just... Yeah. See... To me, this won't stand out as much because I got my hair, but until I get a haircut at least. But uh, I think these look awesome. I'll admit that it's a little irksome that to turn these on you have to put in the battery, but it still looks awesome in the end and is worth it. Oh yeah, I am so wearing this in future videos. <laughs> Whenever, like, this is like a favorite shirt. I'm trying to think of a look to put together for like when I do videos. I know uh, certain YouTubers like, uh, just off the top of my head, Angry Video Game Nerd and Nostalgia Critic kind of have a, a sort of outfit for when they do their videos. Figure my, maybe I could put a sort of outfit together when I do videos for unboxing new technology type of thing. Maybe I just wear this, the visor, maybe throw on my vest too. I don't know. It's an idea. It's It might end up looking stupid, and but until I get comments saying otherwise, yeah, it's whatever. Getting off track here. <laughs> the visor, let me... Ugh. Sorry. The visor is definitely worth what I paid for, because it just looks sexy. <laughs> I'm, it's difficult, I can't tell if you can see my eyes at all through the light, because looking through this and then the screen makes it kind of difficult, so I won't be able to tell until I look at it on the computer. Yeah, I jerry-rigged some kind of stacking stand thing. I'm still I still using my iPod, but enough delaying. Time to actually give my overall opinion on this thing. I think it is awesome. Definitely worth the, uh, I believe it was $45 I paid for this thing. It is worth it, especially if you want to look like you're in the future. Definitely Great for sweet rave parties. <laughs> Going to the club or something, or just want to look good at a friend's party. I definitely recommend one of these things if you're going for the whole, whole cyber futuristic look. Definitely something for 2015. The uh, only constructive criticism I can give... Yes, I'm giving, this isn't a commercial item, remember. It's something on Etsy, a website where people make things by hand or buy what they have on hand, like a machine 3D printer or whatever, and then sell it. Somebody put their time and effort to make this and is selling them without any third-party things like Walmart or Target. No, they're just selling it right off the website. So, the only actual constructive criticism I can give 
is to maybe add a little more to this. Like, here, let me take these off for a second. The whole battery button thing. Sorry, I, I gotta remember the camera's over here, not here. The uh, whole button thing. I see this as hmm, kind of a prototype th type of deal. Because when I first ordered these things, I probably missed something that I should have read or didn't see it in the picture good enough, but I was honestly expecting these to have a sort of switch so that when you pop in the battery, you could just flick the switch and it turns on. It... I'm not... I'm not... I'm not a, ugh, sorry, tongue-tied. I'm not gonna say it's a complete negative, but... Eh. I can see it kind of getting annoying when you want to just turn them off. Like, you're gonna have to take out both batteries and pocket them and then snap them back in when you want to turn them on. I just think it would be a good idea to to include some kind of on-off switch. Uh, maybe add a cover for the battery, I guess. But the only thing... Not the only thing, sorry, I'm repeating myself. Yeah, maybe add a cover and a on-off switch. That's the only constructive criticism I could actually give, but other than that, something I would like to see in possible future versions is... Uh, hold on, let me grab the uh, toy again. Something I would like to see with possible future versions if, with this, if the creator is listening, is maybe some kind of frame like the this little toy here has. Uh, the reason why is because, let's face it, certain people can have oily skin or something, I don't know. And if you're, like, pressing it right up against your face, you're going to get a little skin oils on this, and you're going to have to be constantly wiping it. Uh, putting some kind of frame like this or something around this would not only keep it from getting all greasy from when someone gets sweaty or something, but it would also be a little more comfortable. I mean, there's obviously some side padding here for the side of your head. I, th I think it would have been nice if there was some, like, on the nose part here, maybe. But that's just me. Still. Even though it... Even though I think it could use a minor tweak here or there, I think this is absolutely awesome. I recommend it to anyone who who's into futuristic or cyber looking... Hmm. Okay, you can't see my eye. Okay. But then again, it's not open. <laughs> but yeah, I highly recommend this to anyone. Even if the whole battery thing is a little irksome, definitely worth it. To the creator of these fine, of this fine visor, if you are listening, keep making these. I may come back for another. <laughs> Especially if these end up breaking somehow, which I really hope won't happen. But yeah. Definitely the perfect replacement for this old childhood memory. Whoops. <laughs> Definitely a lot lighter, no bulky battery thing. Perfect replacement. I am going to be wearing these so much. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, links to... The item on Etsy will be down in the description below. I will also include the Facebook and Twitter that are on this card for the person who made these. So, thank you all for watching, everybody. This is Lightning Wing Productions. I am Lightning Wing, and I will see you next time.